Okay, we're back and I'm going to, uh, and I've dried the background. It's a little bit lighter than I'd like and I will probably end up going back in again on our background uh, at some point and doing pretty much the same thing I did the first time, only I will be doing a second glaze over top of it. And, um, but I'll reserve the right to do that until the very end and we'll see if I end up doing it. Um, right now we're going to do one of the leaves uh, just to give you that process. I can't do the entire watercolor on this just simply because there just isn't a time for that. But I'm going to go in here with my, perm this is permanent rose, and I'm going in here On this bottom leaf here trying to kind of anticipate the fact that this is really not a solid color at all and maybe my leaves will look different when I do them again uh, They are definitely a dry brush situation, not, not that you wouldn't go back in to the paint when it is um, dry, but uh, you do want to keep it um, so you can mingle the colors. You want to keep it wet while you're doing this part. And I've kind of lost those lines that are on it. I'm not sure if I'll, I'll be able to get those back or not. But I'm not sure that it detracts that much. Now I'm coming kind of close to this edge here. I have a little bit of it done with Miskit so I can keep that white. But you'll notice the colors are changing throughout this. I'm starting with my permanent rose. To that I am going to and I have to do this quickly and one of the reasons for not using a lot of water with this is because you want a vibrant color and if you use a lot of water you are not going to get a vibrant color and to this I'm I'm adding some Windsor red I want you know there there's a lot of actual just red in this if you look at it closely and um, we that vibrancy is what the red adds once it's dry especially you're going to get less vibrancy with any of the colors but okay then I'm going to add some French ultramarine blue, and that's where my purple's going to come from. Again, I'm working fast. I'm trying very much to keep these colors damp because I want them to mingle. I have a shadow that's on this 
down here at the bottom, but I'm not going to deal with that right now. Right now, I just want to get this leaf done. Now, I can come back in here and completely dry brush this um, when and add a little bit more definition after I get my color laid in. And now I'm going to go to my um, yellow, my CAD, and add, start adding the yellow here at the top. between well between the brush because you want the purity of color some purple to it. And the underside is a little bit of you know, we should probably wait it on that. Okay, there you have one of the leaves. And like I said, I would come back in and maybe um, work a little bit more dry brush. And also right now I'm gonna take a little bit of that yellow and try and kind of lift a little bit right here. I feel like I didn't get which I can go back in on yellow then. Same over here. Okay, there you have uh, one of the leaves and how we're going to do it. The next thing I'm going to do then um, would be, um, well, you know, I'm going to get all my leaves done and then I'm going to work on my stamen. And the reason for that is, is because you want that, that deep background behind those so that they will pop forward. So I want to be able to go in there with the shadow that is uh, around these. And as, if you're looking at your picture, you'll see what I'm talking about and uh, all of that before I even get in those. And those will be pure white, so I can add the light yellow to them and, and uh, they will, they'll pop forward and they'll, they'll be, um, uh, the, your painting won't be flat because of that. So. Anyway, that's where we are with this. If you have any questions, please just uh, text me or email me and I'll answer to the best of my ability. Um, but this is, you know, how you're going to do it. And uh, I will probably go back in also on this leaf as it, after it dries and maybe add a little bit more deepening uh, red into it. And then um, I will definitely be working more on my greens down here. And um, that's it for this one.